I'm a rapper. Oh, not like a, a rapper, but like a, a, a rapper of things. You hear about that a lot, people wrapping AI tools and making new applications. We're living in a bonkers time where if you stumble across a cool API, you can just wrap it up and build whatever you imagine. It's all about taking something that exists and making it your own. And the best part is with something like Cloudflare Workers and the Hono framework, you can iterate super easily. You kind of just pop a quick API wrapper and you've got your own custom tool without reinventing the wheel. Here, let me show you one that I just wrapped up. <laughs> so this is using the 11 Labs dubbing API. And I was chatting with Thor about this on the show AI Avenue. And he talked about a pretty cool thing that they do called dubbing. They take a video or audio files, and then what they do is they clone the voice, they do the translation, and a really good translation, like making sure they get all the nuance, and all the emotions and everything comes back, and then they return it back to you so you can play it or watch it. So I wrapped up that API, and I built Speak Easier. And we actually use it on the first episode of AI Avenue, which airs on September 12th. The producer on the show, Yaroslav, is a Russian speaker, and I always want to make sure that he understands what I mean, especially when it's something important like this. So I'm going to choose uh, Russian here, and I'm going to say to him, Yaroslav, I just wanted to say thank you so much for your attention to detail. I truly don't know what I would do uh, without your focus and dedication to the work. I am so proud of what we built together, and I hope that you know deep down how much I truly appreciate all that you do. So I'm going to do stop recording. And I'm going to send that to him, and hopefully I'm going to make him cry. Uh, <laughs> and while that's going, you'll see that it says that it's going to take about four minutes. So let's go take a look at the docs. Because it takes time, right? It takes time to go and do that, and depending on what it is. And what I really like is they return back this expected duration. So um, you can dub this. Uh, you just do a post to this, this API, and you give it the file that you want. And it will tell you what the expected duration is. Now, what's really nice about this is uh, I have gone, and I made sure that when this is going that I don't just poll until it's ready because I, there's no sense in it, right? It says how long they think it's going to take. So that's probably going to take some time. So I'm going to come back uh, over here uh, and you'll see that the great, great docs here uh, in 11 labs of what you can do. Uh, and so I just took, I kind of took those and uh, let's take a look really quick at this footer here. Um, so I'm going to go here to this code and I'm going to open up the code at the bottom of, of this. There's this peep the code. I'm going to click that, open that up and it's over here on GitHub. And you'll see that I came in here, and if we look at the source, uh, this is a view app. So I use the framework starter to do a view app, and I'll, I'll actually show you how to do that here uh, in a second. But this built out the scaffolding for me. And uh, if I come in here under uh, the server and I look at index.ts, you could see that I'm using the Hono uh, library, right? And I'm using the 11 labs API. And I'm basically just using uh, what they want there, right? So I'm, I'm, I put a little uh, UI uh, in front of it and I called it my own thing, my translations. They are calling it dubbing. I called it translations because I can do that because I'm wrapping it. And I'm passing this uh, colon ID, right? And you can see that I can pull the ID across. And then I'm using that. Uh, this, is, uh, this is my environment variable here that I'm using. We have a different way of doing this as well if you want to just import uh, environment. But this is coming across through Hono. Through, so this is the environment. This is the, the uh, environment for Cloudflare workers. I'm able to get access to that and I'm able to get this uh, 11 uh, Labs API key, which uh, I've uploaded a secret and I also could store this locally. So I was building this locally as well. Uh, so yeah, so I get the dub file, I can download it. Uh, I'm also doing a little stream here, right? So I wanted to, as soon as it comes across, I wanted to hear uh, what happens. So as soon as that comes across, that goes. And then, um, yeah, and I can do a transcription too as well. So that the, the app kind of has all of that things on there. Let me show you what it feels like to start uh, one of these. So I'm gonna start from the scratch directory. And if I just do an npm create Cloudflare at latest, that's node package manager, of course. Uh, Cloudflare at latest, it's going to go, it's going to find the new thing. I'm just going to say example here, example, and I'm going to say example view app because I want to show you how you can build one of these really quick. So there's this framework starter. I'm going to go into the framework starter and you'll see there's a bunch of different frameworks in here. Uh, you know, React, everybody is probably familiar with that. There's also SvelteKit, love SvelteKit. Uh, I'm going to choose view here and if we do view, uh, I can choose what language I want. I want TypeScript. Uh, it's going to go ahead and it's going to run through that wizard there install all the stuff that I need, and then when this is up and running, I'll be able to go and explore in my view app, and it will show me where I can put the server and things like that as well. So, uh, this, is, this is running here. 
and I do want to use Git, and I don't want to deploy it right away. And I'm just going to do uh, example view app, and I'm going to uh, open the. Uh, I could just do this uh, npm run dev, and you'll see that uh, the the development server spins up. And if I if I uh, go to this uh, 5173, that's the the local port here. We'll come back. We'll see how let's see how our speakeasy is doing. Uh, about two minutes remaining. So I'm going to show this here. Here we go. Uh, and I can see that I, I, I did it. And the API is unknown. If I click it, it says Cloudflare. So that's, that's a good uh, example of how you could start uh, uh, working there. So I'm going to just go ahead. Let's open this up in uh, Visual Studio Code. And if I look, you'll see here is the server. That's the server that I was working at. This is a this is how how we can do it just with some straight JavaScript. This is without the Hono library. This is kind of what it looks like. And then you know all of my my view stuff is uh, in there. Now one of the things that I wanted to point out back if we're looking at this code that I did do is after I wrote this API. Спасибо. На художественная мастерская. Я просто хотел сказать огромное спасибо за ваше внимание к деталям. Я действительно не знаю, что бы я делал без вашего внимания и преданности делу. Я очень горжусь тем, что мы построили вместе, и надеюсь, что вы глубоко внутри знаете как сильно я ценю все, что вы делаете. And I hope that that makes him cry. That sounded like I, that was a pretty good Russian, right? Like it felt like it's like my emotion was there. Pretty good, right? So um, the other thing I wanted to just point out really quick is that I I'm not really good at coloring the lines. I never really have been. So when it comes to making a front end, I often rely on um, I rely on on the coding frameworks these days. And because I'm using Vue here. It's been trained on that sort of stuff, which is really great. But what I always do is I do this little thing called a truth window. Uh, so the truth window keeps track of what I asked for um, uh, because I think it's really important uh, in today's time, so especially educationally, what did I ask for? What did it do? I say, tell me what, what I asked for and, and tell me what you did. And sometimes if I'm doing a whole bunch of that, I keep a full session. Um, and so the people who build straw-built houses uh, have a window, like an actual window in their house where you can look inside and you can see that is indeed straw and they call the truth window. So whenever you see something from me that has a front end, most likely it's going to be like I've used Claude Code or Codex to help me with the front end. And I like to have them generate this for me like educationally. And so that's it. That's a wrap. <laughs> you see, because I wrap. <laughs> it's just a quick example of how you can take a generative AI API that you like and turn it into your own app. And with tools like Cloudflare Workers, it's easier than ever to build exactly what you want. Now, I want you to go ahead and try Speak Easier yourself. Go ahead, and if you haven't already, check out AI Avenue. You're gonna have a lot of fun. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you real soon.